What's up, YouTube? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're living that double R life. It's like seven something in the morning, and by the title, you already know what this video is about. So I'm basically, you know what I'm saying, going to get my inspection. Well, I went to get my inspection done. You know I'm saying? I got a couple days to register my car. Without that, without the inspection, I can't register my car. It, I didn't pass, basically. So let me show you on the paper right here. As you can see right here, it said I failed. So, you know, the reason I failed is because I don't have no cow converters. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to get rid of this. See that right there? Besides the gas, <laughs> the gas, you know what I mean? I need gas. Is that, hold on, let me put it closer. That check engine right there, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I got a little trick up my sleeve. So, we're gonna go, I'm gonna head right now to my destination and then I'm gonna get to work. We in here, we in here. So this is what I gotta get right here. What's the name of these? Different sizes? Yeah, I'm gonna do the shorter ones. Yeah. And it's just, it's too long. Please. What else? That's it. We're out of here. Alright, so you're setting up the drill right now. So we're gonna um, drill right through through these right here. Where's that thing? The what? Oh, the little, the little uh, block. So break it down. What we about to do? So basically, we got to drill, got to drill a hole, half inch holes for the old two sensor to fit, and this is gonna cheat the uh, oxygen sensor, hopefully. Well, that we're gonna cheat the oxygen sensor. Hopefully, no. Hopefully, we we're crossing our fingers, as you know, it's been done before, but you know, you just never know. So. Once we uh, get the drilling, we're going to be right back. Not getting no power. One thing is another. Yeah, one to go. Shit. Good to go. All right. Checking this bad boy up. Mind a dirty car, man. Rain and raining every day. Every time I have to go to wash it, it rains the next day. So, yeah, man. So, we're about to um, get under here and hopefully this works.
Holy shit. Why this is going off? The um, you need two lower O2s. These things are shot. She's a shot. Yeah, definitely is. That that's so it's probably yeah, not that's even. That's probably why the code is coming up. Cause I have this on my car and the code doesn't come on. So you so you think we gotta go to the back of the shop? I mean to the auto part, auto parts. Yeah, but these you gotta get from the dealer. Sheesh. So we, so, we, so we think we should just put the um the new ones on and then get then get that. Yeah, but I don't know if we're gonna have. it on bro i don't want to try to take it off you're not, you're not I moving gonna, i already know what's gonna happen if i try it shit it's not moving it's moving but, but it's, it's try to do it soft though Next day. So as you heard right there, the previous owner of this car, I guess he must have tried that trick too, cause I bought the um I bought this car with no cats. You know what I'm saying? So I never checked under there. Besides when I first got the car, I plugged it up to the computer. That's how I found out there was no cats under here. But the little trick that we're trying to do to um confuse the system, he already had did it. But like I said, when we when we checked, the um sensors were were shot, so Right now, we're heading to the Dodge dealership, and we're going to get some new sensors, and then, you know, we're going to pray for the best. This him, you looking real nice. Looking like Mr. RT Lights, D5. Shout out to RT Life. Definitely go follow him. Just pulled up to the Dodge dealership. You already see that Mopar sign up there. About to grab these um sensors. And my boy Gabe over here. <laughs> You already know, Mopar, no car. Ready to go. Check out this honey. Do some work. We'll be ready to go. Right, put your strength into it, boy. Should be the same part. Man. No, one is longer than the other. So one is for the other side? Yeah, I gotta take one side out and measure it. Okie dokie. Let me see what this looking like. Way shorter. Yeah, that one is way shorter. How long do you think that thing was in there, man? It looks like the original one. The original one, right? Thank you. 
some strength into it, boy. Put strength into it. Okay. Ready? I gotta be a fucking reason right there. It's just cooked. Some strength into a bowl. You just drink you just finished drinking a red bowl. Yeah, you don't wanna OD tighten them though. Yeah. Decided just to take off the battery for a few minutes, for, you know what I mean? Since we have the computer here, damn, killing me with that second hand. <laughs> That's like a the third cigarette in ten minutes, man. But yeah, we took we took the um we disconnected the battery, so like I said, um we we just gonna let it we just gonna let it sit. You know what I'm saying? See if the check engine light come off, which it is. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm just driving back to um Manhattan, being I'm in Long Island right now. Hopefully it don't turn on on the ride, so I can pass this inspection, so then we'll see what happens. So now I'm at the inspection shop, as you can see right here. About to bring the machine, to see if it's ready. So hopefully everything goes good, man. So, you know, they gave me a little a little issue about my tents down here. So hopefully I can pass that and go from there, because that's least of my worries. And hopefully everything goes well, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully this check engine light don't come on. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying it don't. But like I said, man, there's only one way to find out, man. So like I said, once I get back to the inspection shop, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have the results. So I'm back at the shop. So they're about to check if I'm ready. Not ready yet? You said one more in the morning. Look, two, right? Good. One more green, it's good. One, one more green? Yeah. So what I need to do? Half two. Two cents or nothing. One one more green, it's good. Okay. Okay, so, you understand? Yeah, but Alright, so now I'm back on the road. They said I wasn't ready yet. He said I need to drive another 40 miles. I drove approximately about 55 miles so basically right now i'm your guinea pig so whoever's trying to try this on their car you you don't have to um go through what i went through you know what i'm saying they say drive 50 miles but he, he was like you know what you gotta drive way more than that you know what i'm saying he actually told me you know what i'm saying try to get a, a straight flow but i got you stopping so the best thing to do is get on the freeway highway 
You know what I'm saying? He said drive about 15 minutes around 60 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? Once you drive 15 minutes straight, 60 miles an hour, try to pull over somewhere for like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? About 15 minutes. He said turn the car off and then you turn the car back on and then you drive it right back. The same, do the same thing back to wherever you was going to your destination. So I'm just here wasting gas. You know what I'm saying? I just put $20 just to run up and down and I'm under a quarter tank. But you know, one thing, the check engine light didn't turn on. You know what I'm saying? Um, when, I, when I reset it before I changed the sensors, the check the, um, my check engine light turned on in 10 minutes. He said, there's um, two exits. Once, once when another one go green, I, I, I'll pass it. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, right now there's a lot of traffic. Let me show you right now. I'm on a Deegan in New York City. So it's gonna be hard for me to get a flow. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just ride for a little bit, waste all this gas, and um, go back to the shop. This will be my third time going to the shop within like about an hour. So once I get back to the shop, man, this should be it, man. This is kind of stressing, but I'm just showing y'all what y'all don't have to go through. So once I get back to the shop, we gonna go for round three. A few moments later. Round three. Corri, corri 48. Vamos, vamos a ver. Something in Chrysler. Very hard. I know. All the customers, I see the Chrysler. Hard, sometimes people drive it. Two hundred miles, three hundred miles. Yeah, I, I, I just drove 100. He told me to come back. This is the third time. I have one guy, he has tried. Tries the van, down to the country. Something like driving almost one week now. It's yeah, I don't think you know the Yeah, eh? the Oh, oh my God. God. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. One more. So as you can see right now, the 36 is getting oil changed. The car is filthy. A lot of rain. You already see a kiss my famous 36 Yeah, but it's been a lot of rain in New York City, so I ain't been able to clean it. So we're just changing that oil right now. You do the recall for the car? The recall? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they gave me a letter yesterday. Oh, you got a recall. The, the, that airbag doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. So you have to be careful. They gave me a letter. Yesterday, a letter came in the mail for the recall. We, we, you go go to the dealer, that paper together? Yeah. Automatically, they don't, you don't have to pay nothing. OK. Because that, that airbag doesn't work. OK. back all right as you can see right here this was the first paper as you can see that i failed and i'm saying i passed the safety but failed the admission you know what i'm saying two thousand six dollars charger blase blase see the vin right there this was on um may 6th at 12 o'clock so now as y'all see he was putting a sticker on you know what i'm saying today's the 25th dollars charger i passed inspection I mean the admission and the safety, so I also got to get a recall, which I know because I got a letter in the mail yesterday. But I had to change the oxygen sensor besides the sensor that changed because the light did come back on. So you know I wasn't gonna record all that me buying this, the um oxygen sensors because y'all can just look that up. I already showed y'all I bought the um other sensor, so I got my sticker on. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all real quick. Y'all already seen them put it on. But I got my sticker on for 2020 right there so y'all already know what y'all gotta do you know what i'm saying for some vehicles it might not work but like i said you gonna look things up but that's how we went around in the system so you already know what it is you know what i'm saying but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like share comment you know all that good stuff and turn on your post notifications so every time i drop a video like this you can notify first and follow us on instagram at cmc underscore mars and you already know my spoken we got an Emmy flown it, the Danny V8, the Dome 1.